Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to pick microcontroller and install the micro C Pro compiler software and run you through a demo Blink LED program. I don't want you to understand everything that I say in this video. This is just a getting started and set you up properly kind of thing. In the next video, I'm going to explain you everything that's going on here. So what is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a small chip which has a microprocessor, program memory, data memory, input and output, uh, timer, counter, etc. It can be used in many household applications uh, like refrigerator, TV, remote, uh, microwaves, etc. These are the microcontrollers that I use a lot in my project. 12F683, the 16F877A and the 18F4580. 12F683, it's a 8-pin, 8 8-bit 8 CMOS microcontroller, 2048 words of flash, 128 bytes of SRAM, 256 bytes of EEPROM, 6 I.O. for input and output, 10-bit resolution, analog to digital converter, and has 4 channels, 1 comparator, 2 8-bit and 1 16-bit timers. So, very powerful chip based on its size. The only problem with this chip is it uh, only has 6 I.O. so you can connect a lot of stuff with it. This is where the other two microcontroller chips comes in handy. The 16F877A is uh, much powerful than 20F683. It has 4.3 kilobytes of uh, program memory, 368 bytes of SRAM, 256 bytes of EEPROM, 33 I.O. so great for big application. 8 10-bit analogs to digital converters, plus it has SPI, I2C, UART, 2 8-bit and 1 16-bit timer, and 2 comparer. It has more special features that you can find in the data sheet. And the last but not the least, 18F4580. Uh, and this thing is a beast. Just check out the data sheet and you'll know what I'm talking. Plus it has uh, Canvas support built into it. I'm going to use the 12F683 for a couple of the couple of videos just to keep things simple. Okay, so let's get started. Let's install the software. Here's the website for this compiler and you can download the software for free, but it has some limitation on how much you can code. The link will be in the description and you can find more information there. So just click on the download button and the uh, download will start and it's a 26 megabyte file so it will go fairly quickly. After when the downloading has been finished, you're going to receive a raw file. So just go ahead and click on extract here and you'll get the executable file. Just go ahead and install the software just like any other software. When I ask you to install the micro proc suit, just click no because we are using Picket 2 as a programmer. Okay, so the software has been installed now. Let's see how to connect this uh, chip with the Picket 2. Here's a little diagram that shows you how to connect the Picket 2 to a 12F683 and the LED on pin GP2. Let's create a new project by clicking on New Project. Give your project a name. Browse your location where you want to store your project. Mine is uh, in the desktop. Now select the device from here. 12F683 and define the clock as 4 MHz. Now click on next and check the open edit project window to set configuration bit. Click finish. This is where you can set the configuration bit of your device. Just changing the high speed crystal to internal oscillator and disabling the mclear pin function. In the next video, I'm going to explain you everything that's going on here, but not want to make things complicated in this video. Just going to click on OK. This is where we can start program for this device. Inside void main, I'm going to type trisio equals zero, which means setting the pin of 12F683 as an output, so we can connect the LEDs. Then I'm going to create a while loop which will always be true, that means it will run forever. Inside the while loop, I'm going to type gpio.gp2 equals 1. So the LED is connected on GP2 will turn on. Now I'm going to add a delay of 1 second by typing delay millisecond delay underscore ms. And under the print inside parentheses, I'm going to type 1000. So the LED will turn on for 1 second. 
now gpio.gp2 equals zero which uh, this will turn the LED off and delay millisecond thousand millisecond will make sure the LED is off for one second so the LED is on for one second and off for one second and now I'm gonna build the program by clicking on this gear icon here and uh, it is giving some information about RAM and ROM usage and it also in the background it uh, created a hex file that we can use it to upload it to the chip using the PICT2 programmer and uh, as you guys can see it automatically detected our chip PIC 12 let's uh, read the chip so we can see what what kind of data inside this chip let's read it hit the read button and uh, uh, here's some random data in the program memory section let's uh, upload the hex file that has been generated by the build process click on file import hex now locate your hex file mine was in the desktop and find the LED flash dot hex file and hit open now we are ready to hit the write button and uh, writing device successfully here we go and if I check the on checkbox the picket 2 will provide the power to the chip and we're gonna see a blinking LED so there we go we have successfully written a program and tested in the circuit so if you enjoy watching this video leaving a like will be greatly appreciated and if you want to see more videos like this one please subscribe to my channel till then stay safe and thanks for watching